I mean, were you confused? Were, were you, I mean, if you weren't physically sick, uh, was there something else going on where you were just like, man, this, this is obviously a tough period in your life. It's almost like you decided to become a vegetarian and be a little small person. And I know that wasn't your goal. So I'm going to assume in this case that there was some other sort of thing you had to attend to and you didn't make a conscious decision to not lift weights. You ended up not lifting weights because you had other family and work priorities that came first. In that case, I commend you for your decision rather than the conscious choice, which would be to be a small, little, weak person. Anyways, so I was going to say serious time, but that was serious. So if you do have a period of eight to 10 weeks of inactivity, obviously that's a pretty long time and I assume that's why you're asking the question. And all kidding aside, it is a very good question. So if you're coming back from this, a few things. First and foremost, I would not test 1RMs right away. If you've been off for eight to 10 weeks, you've really detrained. Now, you haven't detrained where you're completely back to baseline levels that you were you know, two years ago, nothing like that. But I wouldn't do 1RMs right away. You're not acclimated to the skill yet and you're going to experience a pretty large amount of fatigue and soreness once you get back into it. So, I would do something very, very easy. Let's just say I'm making up numbers now, but let's just say, for example, before you went on that hiatus, you had a max squat of 200 kilograms. Okay, so that's 441 pounds. Now, let's say before that you were able to maintain, let's say, multiple sets of eight repetitions, um, somewhere around 100 and 35, 140 kilos in the low 300s in terms of pounds. So I wouldn't start a new one RM, but obviously you're way under 200 on your one RM. But you've had too long off where you can really estimate, and there's no reason to go back and do a one RM. So if you were doing, let's say, eights with 135, 140, I would start doing eights that first week super, super light. This is gonna sound ridiculously light to you for somebody that had 200 kilo max, but I would jump back in, and let's say I'm doing something for eights at around maybe 90 kilos, really, really, really light. And I'll be honest with you, I might not even do eights. I might start back that first week and not worry about periodizing. Just train two to three times a week, do maybe three sets of five, something super easy, 90 to 100 kilos. And even with that, you're going to have a little bit of soreness, a little bit of damage, because you've had so much time off. But remember, and if you look at SBS Academy, you'll see some of these lectures. If you haven't been doing anything for eight to 10 weeks, Maybe doing three sets of five at 90 kilos twice a week sounds ridiculously light to you for somebody that had 200 kilo max. But you know what? You weren't doing anything for eight to 10 weeks. So you will make progress. And also we have to keep in mind the concept of the repeated bout effect, the RBE, which is the attenuation of muscle damage from one week to the next. Now you're introducing something new again. So you're going to have damage, a, a pretty solid amount of damage, even if you're going light when you come back. So you wanna go light so that way when you get back into week two and week three, you can then have something to work off of, but you're not gonna have too, too much damage since you started out fairly light. So I wouldn't retest 1RMs. I would just take something that seems ridiculously light, even if it's an empty barbell, or even if it's 60 kilos, maybe one blue on each side, something like that. Start back with that, and then gradually increase, do almost like an introductory mesocycle with that, just adding maybe five kilos per week for the first three weeks, and then, Either test your 1RM or pick a weight if you previously maxed 200 kilos and do something like 150 for max reps. Maybe you end up getting that for eight reps. You can estimate a conservative 1RM off of that and then go from there. But I wouldn't test 1RM. You don't want to risk any injury in that case. There's no reason to. You're also going to have a huge drop off. Take something ridiculously light. You just need a low frequency, a very, very low volume. Start back, gradually increase for a few weeks. You'll get acclimated again. You'll do the repeat about effect. You'll minimize damage. Then you can pick kind of a way to do some rep testing. Then you can estimate a 1RM. Then you can jump back into normal training. Hope that helps.